The Improvising Consciousness Performative Lecture purports to be a scholarly account of human cognition from 2.5 million BCE to 3000 CE. The omnivores need to find new kinds of food and to store information about those new kinds of food is arguably one of the most powerful drivers for analogical intelligence. Spotting edible or poisonous patterns in toads and frogs, in fungus, in plants. The lecture critiques existing theories that equate human intelligence with language, men, and rationality. Instead, it focuses on analogy and visually based cognitive processes. For hundreds of thousands of years, visually based analogical thinking develops. They gather knowledge about what to eat, where to find it, and when to go looking for it. They braid carrier bags, nets, traps. They pass the knowledge between themselves by shared attention, shared looks, and shared experiences. Memory inheres in the objects, in movement through the landscape, and in the daily rhythms. About 12,000 years before the Common Era, the bicameral mind evolves in response to crisis, to food shortages. The right side, that observing visual side, with its deep knowledge of the world, has the power to invent agriculture. It co-opts language and sends commands across to the left side, auditory hallucinations, and tells the left side what to do. Dig here, plant these, water them, tend them, tend them again tomorrow and the next day and the next day and now it's time to harvest. Take these, cut them up, grind this, save these for later. In that long period of chaos, the bicameral kingdoms erupt. War breaks out, the men are killed and the women and children are taken captive. In the slave pens, a new mind configuration evolves. Imagine those captives, ripped from their cultures, effectively ripped away from their gods, so that half of their mind is gone. To survive, they invent a metaphor of mind space. And they tell stories of a little eye hiding inside. A secret eye. Yes, the eye struck mind, your very own language based consciousness, takes the stage. As the global meltdown worsens, the eye struck mind reaches its limits, and what comes in its place is the multi mind. The multi-mind, it's multiple personalities, some of them are familiar narrative-based eye centres and others are strange and non-linguistic formations. It is also crucial to understand that this is a technologically enhanced mind. And so, for the first time in millennia, the right side of the mind has an arena of operations in virtual space. Direct access to knowledge sharing and decision making is restored to the visual processes of the brain.